We use the equal sign every day in our lives. Have you ever wondered how we express equality in mathematics? Well, the equal sign, which is now an integral part of our mathematical language, was not always there. So, let's dive into the history of this crucial mathematical symbol. The equal sign was invented by Robert Record, a Welsh mathematician, in 1557. Record was frustrated with the lengthy way of expressing equality, which involved using the phrase, is equal to, over and over again. So, he came up with the idea of a symbol that could represent this concept in a simpler and more concise way. He chose two parallel lines of equal length to represent equality, with the idea being that they would never cross each other, just as two equal quantities would always be the same, which symbolized balance, and that the quantity on the left of the symbol was equal to the quantity on the right. The symbol was first used in Record's book, The Whetstone of Wit, which was a mathematical treatise that covered a range of topics. The equal sign quickly caught on and became the standard way of representing equality in mathematics. The equal sign has since become a fundamental symbol in mathematics, and it's hard to imagine solving equations without it. It's now used not just in math but in programming, physics, chemistry, and many other fields. So, the next time you use the equal sign, Remember that it was invented by a brilliant mathematician who wanted to simplify the way we express equality. If you found this video informative, please like and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating topics.